welcome inside the State Champs studio for another edition of State Champs at the State Finals for the 2021-2022 school year. I'm Sydney Cariel, and today we're recapping the 2022 MHSAA Girls Tennis State Finals. Before we get started, we wanted to give a shout out to Lawrence Technological University for making the show possible. The Blue Devil tennis team is growing and thriving. Do you want to play tennis at the next level? The coaches want you to recruit yourself. Just head over to l2athletics.com. All right, let's get to the highlights of the tennis state finals. And we start in Division I at Kalamazoo College. And for the second year in a row, the top two teams battle for the state championship. Last season, it was shared by Ann Arbor Pioneer and Bloomfield Hills. The Blackhawks took all the flights in doubles. Danielle Herb and Carly Bernard would go to three sets against Grace Zhu and Stephanie Okoa of Troy in one doubles, with the duo of Herb and Bernard taking third set tiebreaker six to two. The whole time I was like, Losing is not an option. Like, it's not an option. I looked at her every every point. We weren't gonna lose. We're winning this, we're winning this, we're winning this. It's not an option. So we weren't gonna lose, and we turned it on. We turned it on at the right time. Noah Goldstein and Natalie Rabb would get the straight sets victory in two doubles. And it would be the same as Aaron Stern and Grace Bickersteth clinching it here on match point to win it six to three and six love. The duo of Colleen Pettigill and Ellie Alberts earned the second seed going into the final in four doubles. After winning the first set 6-0, they would close it out with a 7-5 win in the second set over Troy. And Bloomfield Hills would be your Division I state runner-up. Ann Arbor Pioneers shared the title with Bloomfield Hills a year ago. Junior Reese Miller for the Pioneers was the one seed going into her final match and would get the straight sets victory over Nicole Fu of Rochester Adams. I've been undefeated this year, which was awesome. And it's been amazing, like being able to be like, I'm the best in the state is like amazing. It's a great feeling. and. I'm just super proud of everyone and myself. Another one seed for Pioneer in two singles was Elsie Van Weeren, and she would defeat Laura Letty of Midland Dow. Six love and six three to repeat as number two singles champion. It's amazing, like I'm two times two singles individually too, and it's just, the team was counting on me and I delivered, which is just an amazing feeling. At number three singles, Maya Goldstein was taking on Grace Shea from Bloomfield Hills. The senior Goldstein would get the straight sets to win 6-4 and 6-1. The Pioneers needed a win at number four singles to clinch the state championship. Bridget Kelly was taking on Julia Yosef from Bloomfield Hills. This was a tough match with both Kelly and Yosef splitting a set each. The Kelly would take the third six to three, and that would clinch the Division I state title for Pioneer. Bridget! Woo! We won last year, but this year is even more special. Not only because we didn't split it this year, but just to be with the team again and new freshmen and everyone, it's just been amazing. Pride, so much pride, it's hard to describe. And relief, because it's been a two-team race all season and we, you never know till you get down here how it's gonna turn out. And it was really clutch right down to the last match. I'm Elizabeth Kuhn and we go to Hope College for the Division II Finals. Grand Rapids Forest Hills Northern comes in the defending Division II state champs. The top two singles flights would belong to Matawan. Lizzie Novak, who will play college tennis next year at the University of Richmond, would get the straight sets win in number one singles. And her teammate, Ramika Shokawai, would take care of business in their match, also getting the straight sets win, 6-1 and 6-love. <laughs> Madawan would finish the state finals in third place. Portage Central junior Anna Dismore came in the third seed at number three singles, was going up against top-seeded Andrea Wing of Forest Hills Northern. <laughs> Dismore took the first set 7-6 and then would take the second set 6-0 to get the win at number two singles. Portage Central as a team finished in fourth. And to four singles, Battle Creek Lakeview freshman Paula Martinez was taking on Miriam Ogilvie from Forest Hill Northern. 
After taking the first set 7-6, Martinez would lose the second, love to six, but come back taking the third and to be your number four singles champion. Champion! You did it! Birmingham Sea Home looking to win its first state title since 2018. The duo of Sydney Fong and Jenna Ting will get the three sets win in number four doubles. Jane Weinman and Tatum Hershey would get the straight set win in their match in two doubles, as Birmingham Sea Home would be your Division II runner ups. Yeah! Yeah! But this day would belong to the defending state champs from Forest Hills Northern. Isabella Paul and Ryan Morey get the job done in their match in two doubles, winning at 6 1 and 6 2. Sophie Richards and Rhea Marwaha was the three seed in one doubles. They grinded out a three set win over top seeded Seaholm in this match. As Forest Hills Northern does it again, Division II state champs for the second year in a row. It's so amazing. Like every day at practice, we push ourselves so hard, and it just like shows that as a team, we're amazing, and everyone did their best today. And it's just like our, a really good team culture at Northern that got us all to the finals today. Our kids believe they can do well, and believe in themselves, and believe that we're going to be successful. So when we go out and practice, they are they just like I said, they practice practice hard, and they do well by practicing hard. I'm Ryan Slocum at the Midland Tennis Center for the Division III Girls Tennis State Finals. Detroit Country Day had won each of the past five D3 crowns with Cranbrook Kingswood finishing runner-up each of the past three seasons. Well, the Cranes made sure they didn't finish second again. CK began their runaway from the crack of dawn, beginning at two singles with Charlotte Brown, the reigning champ, defending her title, beating Chelsea sophomore Anne Marie Begola 6-love, six 6-1 six to go back to back. It's really emotional because we've been playing tennis our whole lives and devoted most of our lives to it. So with this being my last day of high school tennis, it's just uh, like just a mix of emotions. I'm so happy and proud for the team, but I'm also just a little bit emotional that it's the season's over. Charlotte is one of two seniors in the Cranes lineup that features two juniors and nine freshmen and sophomores. And one of those rookies is Yana Park at one singles. The freshman sensation took down at Seagull sophomore Allie Aldrich, 6-love, six 6-2 six to win the flight. Cranbrook had another straight sets victory at three singles with the top seeded sophomore Sienna Illich moving past Stevensville Lakeshore freshman Josie Arbanis 6-3-6-2 to avenge her finals loss from a year ago. Olivia Jean then gave the Cranes a clean sweep in singles, but it wasn't easy. The top seeded sophomore dropped the first set to Pontiac Notre Dame's Addison Bellows, but dropped only one set the rest of the way to win the four singles title, 3-6, 6-1, 6 love. The only adversity CK faced was in doubles, but even that wasn't too much. The country day pair of Peja Lyles and Lana Haddad claimed the one dubs crown over Cranbrook's Chloe Quinn and Gabby Levine, 7 6 6 2. The two doubles matchup was a classic as the top seed from East Grand Rapids, Meg Simon and Ella Webb faced country days Arya Radhakrishnan and Marin Norlander. This one went to a pair of tiebreakers, including the third and final frame, which ends right here. EGR wins the thriller at two dubs, 3-6, 7-5, 7-6. pretty unreal. We're we're uh, two athletes. We actually, this is kind of like our second and third sports. We really put a lot of work into the sport for the past three months. So to come out on top was 
pretty incredible and really to cap off our senior year. We did it for our team. I mean, obviously we won for ourselves. We won our flight at two doubles, but it was for our team. We got out there. We were fighting for every person, whether they played or didn't play today, how far they got, didn't matter. I mean, this, this win for us was really for our team, and I think that's something special. How you <laughs> the final two flights once again belonged to Cranbrook. The Crane combo of sophomores Darren Krause and Kaylee Lala defeated EGR's Kelly Kivrier and Kate Simon in four dubs, 6-1, 6-2. The final match of the day, another two-tie break epic showdown at three doubles, which ends with another CK victory. Freshman Ava Clog and sophomore Grace Zhong held off Chelsea's Kendall Spink and Izzy Barkey 6-4, 6-7, 7-5 to give the Cranes their sixth finals victory of the day and the runaway team championship. Cranbrook scores 37 points, 16 better than runner-up Chelsea to win the state championship in Division Three. It's the Cranes' first since winning five straight from 2011 to 2015. Well, this year we got five amazing, talented freshmen. I think that really pulled us through to this season. And uh, I've just had so much confidence in our team this whole season and to be here. And most of our freshmen got a state champ uh, title this year, so I'm just so proud of us. No, I've never had a team uh, this dominant. It's a special, special group. Uh, but, you know, it wasn't easy. I mean, these girls uh, dealt with nerves all weekend, and uh, credit to them. I mean, they, they were the ones that uh, stuck it out and closed the door. I'm Greg Molson at the University of Michigan Tennis Center for the Division IV Girls State Finals. Let's start with one singles and Maddie Zampardo of Gross Point University Liggett playing in her first state tournament. The junior dominated the first set, winning six love. But the two-time individual one singles champion, Morea McNally of Clarkston Everest would fight back in the second set, drawing even at four games to four. As a freshman, McNally beat Melanie Zampardo in the final, but Maddie would not let her beat another Zampardo, taking the final two games to win the second set 6-4, claiming the one singles title. Yeah, it's amazing. It feels really great. I'm really grateful. Um, I had some really good competition, and I played some really great matches, and my sister played high school tennis, and her for Liggett too, so it was really cool, because a lot of the girls knew her, and they were like, oh my god, I remember see seeing your sister play, and it was a lot of fun. Moving to four singles, that's Hannah Lorito of Grand Rapids West Catholic in the far court, Taking on Manasseh Gallipoli of Ann Arbor Green Hills, Lorito wins it in straight sets, 6-4, 6-1, leading West Catholic to a third place finish in the team race. Yeah. Yeah. Bloomfield Hills Academy of the Sacred Heart came into the finals as the team to beat, having won seven of the last nine state tournaments. The duo of Jade Horkoff and Angelina Kakos give the Gazelles a win at two doubles, 6-4, 6-3. Lulu George and Maggie Pulte would also give Sacred Heart another title at three doubles, with both of the Gazelles' wins coming over Ann Arbor Green Hills. Green Hills would also add some state champions starting at one doubles, where Rukmini Nalamathu and Georgie Branch beat Sacred Heart 6-1, 5-7, 6-3. Sabine Malik and Mira Tawari give the Griffins another win at four doubles, coming from behind to win their final match, 6-7, 6-3, 6-4, over Whitsum St. Catherine. And Green Hills would add two more winners in singles play. Freshman Shang Yang Sha cruised to the two singles title, beating Elk Rapids' Ella Krofchik 6-2, 6 love. I have never imagined winning a state title as a freshman. It's definitely been a surreal experience and definitely crazy as well. But it was really, really fun and I'm glad I was on the team. It was another freshman winning at three singles for the Griffins with Sophie Chen beating Elk Rapids' Annika Krofchik 6-1, 7-6. I wasn't even sure I was going to make it to the second day and I had a lot of nerves so I was super nervous. But I'm glad that I got over it and 
one. <laughs> With four champions in the finals and two second place finishes, Ann Arbor Greenhills finished with 35 points to 26 for Bloomfield Hills Academy of the Sacred Heart, giving Green Hills the Division Let's go. Four state championship. They had to dig in and they had to really find another level and they did and um, we're very, very proud of the fact that they could perform under pressure. And we worked hard for this, we practiced hard, so it all paid off this time and we're, we're incredibly grateful for all of the, the help along the way, the parents, the, the school um, and uh, the players themselves deserve all the credit. Congratulations to all of our state champions. If you want to see extra clips and interviews from all of the state finals, head over to State Champs social media. Simply search State Champs Michigan, or you can download and stream the free State Champs Network app to catch all the shows. You can even watch us on your Amazon Fire Stick or on Roku. I'm Sydney Cariel. Thanks for watching this edition of State Champs at the State Finals. State Champs at the State Finals is presented by Lawrence Technological University. LTU offers over two dozen varsity sports for men and women, along with several dozen world-class undergraduate programs. Athletic and academic scholarships are available in all sports. Visit ltuathletics.com and recruit yourself. Also brought to you by the Michigan High School Athletic Association, promoting the value and values of educational athletics. The Michigan Army National Guard, a proud sponsor of the MHSAA. The Detroit Medical Center Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine Pros. Do you have a sports injury or are you just looking to take your game to the next level? Go where the pros go. Visit dmc.org slash game changers. U.S. Navy recruiting call 313-315-2560 and talk to a local officer to find out how the Navy can take you anywhere from the sea to the stars. Oakland School's technical campuses are designed for any student who wants to graduate high school with industry certifications, on-the-job experiences, business connections, and college credits. Check them out at ostconline.com. EA Graphics. Get your official MHSAA championship merchandise at shopmhsaa.com.